tired of placing machines and cables by hand? Have you gotten to the end game and thought spamming machines would be easier if you just had world edit and could copy machines multiple times over and over? Well, now both those problems are solved. Introducing the Matter Manipulator, a quality of life world edit like survival tool coded by Recursive Pineapple. The Matter Manipulator is going to change GTNH going forward, and you all are going to want to get to the end game so that you can feel the true power. Hello, my name is Aditya, and we're going to go over everything that the Matter Manipulator has to offer. We'll start with the basics, including what you need to know to make sure that the tool can work at all times, and then we'll tackle each of the five functions and how you can use them for all sorts of adventures in your GTNH world. The tool comes in four variants. Prototype, MK1, MK2, and finally MK3. The prototype can be built in HV and is locked to only geometry mode. It cannot be connected to AE, but this will be useful for cleaning out rooms and minimal building. The Matter Manipulator MK1 can be built in IV and unlocks two more functionalities in addition to geometry, exchanging and cables. A big jump from the prototype, the MK1 also allows you to connect to your ME system. The next version, which can be built in LUV, unlocks the final two functionalities, copying and moving, which brings the list up to five. In the final version, the Matter Manipulator MK3 has the same functionalities as the MK2, but unlocks the ability to interface with the Matter Manipulator Umplik Multiblock, the new multiblock that the mod adds. At the time of this recording, the best version of the Matter Manipulator can be made in ZPM. However, due to balancing reasons, as you will note from the rest of this tutorial, the tool may be gated to a much higher tier when it will be more impactful for the player using it. The higher tiers of the Matter Manipulator can directly access your ME system. Simply place the tool in the security terminal like you would your wireless access terminal and the tool will be able to extract and insert from your storage system when needed. Keep in mind that you will need to be in range of your network, so make sure that you have wireless access points placed down in order to cover your entire base. In UV, you can build a multi-block called the Quantum Uplink that allows the tool to connect to your ME system with infinite range and across dimensions. Additionally, by connecting the Quantum Uplink hatch within the multi, the tool can create fake ME patterns for the acquired blocks in the copying mode. This fake pattern is a summation of all the blocks in the copied region, and the tool will create this fake pattern for free, but will require 16,000 EU of plasma per item or per 1,000 liters. The multi-block consumes one amp of ZPM while active, and the matter manipulator itself can be placed inside the controller GUI to bind it to the uplink. And if all that wasn't enough, this tool requires a lot of power itself, so make sure that you have sufficient wireless chargers in your base in order to support continued usage. The Matter Manipulator, at its highest level, has five main functions that can help you in various situations. To access each of these functionalities, you can use the built-in radial menu by clicking into the air. To get to the main menu, you must always click on Set Mode, which will bring up the modes that you can select from. Geometry, Moving, Copying, Exchanging, and Cables. Within each of these has its own sub-menu with different functionalities that you will get to understand and learn as you use the Matter Manipulator. Additionally, on the main radial menu, you have Set Remove Mode. This is how you select which of the blocks in the region that you want to remove. You can choose between removing none of the blocks, removing replaceable, which is a filter that you will have to set yourself within some of those submenus, or you can choose to remove all, which is what I usually choose as I find it's the easiest option out of all three. We'll start with geometry. Geometry is your way to not only build shapes quickly and terraform large areas, but it also allows you to break down multi-blocks efficiently while depositing the materials straight into your ME system. Now using the radial menu, you'll want to use set mode and go to geometry. Before you do this, however, you want to make sure that if you are trying to deposit the materials, such as these two LCRs and this EBF back into your ME system, you want to set the remove mode to remove all. Now when you are in your geometry menu, you want to select blocks. I want to set all the blocks in this selection region to air, as you can see in the bottom left corner. Now I want to set the shape to cube. Now that I'm here, I can now select an area. If you click on a block using this, you'll see a blue kind of cube brought up. This is how you select the region for your matter manipulator. Now you can drag it up. You can build up this way. You can do a however many ever, how many ever shapes or kind of designs that you want, and you can drag over the entire thing like this. Now, if you want to select a more specific region, you can actually click shift click on this block to bring up that specific block. And if you fly over here, we can shift specifically this block on the top of the EBF. And now only the, the blocks in this blue region will now be pulled. So now that you, you have your region selected, you're going to want to shift and click into the air and those blocks will go straight back into your ME system. They're not deposited in your, in your inventory as long as your uplink is available and it will go straight back into your ME system for you to use at a later date. The next functionality we'll go over is moving. Moving, as you would expect, is taking a multi-block or a build and putting it somewhere else. 
With the matter manipulator, it's actually quite simple. From the radio menu, we'll hit moving and see that there's two sub menus to choose from, mark cut and mark paste. Take this mega vacuum freezer, for example. We wanna move it over a few blocks and elevate it off the ground so I can wire underneath. We're gonna hit mark cut. And as before, you're gonna left, I'm gonna shift click on this bottom so it highlights that specific block. I'm gonna fly up here to the top and now you can see only the region of the mega vacuum freezer is selected. From here, I'll open the radio menu again and hit mark paste. And you'll see that an orange selection with the entire preview of the multi-block has come up. And now I'm going to place this wherever I want. Let's just say right here. So now it's moved over and uh, in the air. I'm going to then shift click into the air like you would the geometry. And you can see that the multi-block actually moved in real time. And as you can see the region here. Now I will give you one warning. If you select a paste region that intersects with your copied region here, you will delete the multi-block or part of it at least. So be very careful with where you select the regions. And if you wanna move something a few blocks over, your best bet is to take this, move it somewhere else, and then copy it again and move it back to the position. But just be warned that if you select and cross the regions, you will have a chance to delete your multi-block. So be careful where you're going to paste. The third functionality I'm going to show you is all about cabling. From the radio menu, we'll hit set mode and then we'll hit cables. Inside the cable sub menu, we can hit set cable. And this is where you can select the cable that you want the matter manipulator to help you spam. If we select the dense ME cable here, you can see in the bottom left, it says set cable to ME dense covered cable purple. And from here, we can select the region that we want the matter manipulator to place. So now I'll just click on the ground here and I'll drag it out here and you can see that the preview is actually here. Now if we shift click in the air as before, the dense covered cable will connect. Additionally, if you're talking about voltage wires, there is some functionality that you can have uh, with the matter manipulator. You can auto connect wires together. But be careful, if you cross voltages, you may have to load a backup as you might have an explosion. To do that, we'll hit the set cable and we'll select the infinity wire. And in this way, you want to shift on this region so you select the block as it is. And now we drag this out and you can see that if we shift click on this, the infinity wire will auto connect. If we don't hit that first block and only do its own region, then it will then it will not connect and you'll have to use your wire cutter to connect the blocks. So again, you can use this to auto connect cables, but be careful, you do not want to cross voltages. Exchanging is a penultimate functionality of the matter manipulator. It's really good for a variety of reasons, but I primarily love it for the ability to change coils and multi-blocks and energy hatches with ease. As per usual, we'll select exchanging from the main radio menu and see that there are a few sub menus that we can choose from. Here, I've set up two examples that will demonstrate the two methods that I just mentioned. I want to swap these mixers from UEV energy hatches to UIV energy hatches. So I'll bring up the sub menu and I'll click edit replace whitelist. This is the block that you want changed. Now, every time I hit edit replace whitelist, I always click clear. This will clear everything that's in the whitelist so that when you select a new region, nothing that you don't want inside the region is going to be changed. I always do this to make sure that no of my, none of my previous exchanges are going to go through or random blocks could be changed. So I always hit clear first, then I'll hit edit replace whitelist again, I'll hit set block, and I'm going to set the block to the UEV energy hatch, as you can see in the bottom left corner. Next, we're gonna hit set block to replace with. This is the block we're going to swap the energy hatch too. So I'm gonna set block to replace with the UIV energy hatch. And you can see that in the bottom left corner as well. So now I'm gonna select my region. Again, I'm gonna shift click on here and I'm going to run over here to this other side. And as you can see, the preview of the actual energy hatches has, has swapped. And now you can see that there'll be a new block in the place. Now, as for good practice, I recommend that you look in the direction that you want the, the block to be faced. So if you want the energy hatch to be pointed down so you can wire from below, you should look up into the sky as if you were placing it. If you want it to be placed to the side, you should look that way or the other way or whichever direction that you want the, multi, the, sorry, the energy hatch to be placed. I want them to face down, so I'm going to shift in the air. And as you can see in a second, the blocks have changed. Now they're UIV energy hatches and the UEV energy hatches have been sent back to my AE system. So this is really good so you can swap out multiple energy hatches at once. And if you have infinity coils hooked up, then all you have to do is swap the energy hatches, swap the dynamo hatch, and you don't have to mess with any cables or anything like that. In this second example, 
I want to swap HSSG coils and Aqua Allo coils and Awakened Draconium coils and these three mega EBFs to Infinity coils. So again, we're going to edit replace wireless. I'm going to clear as per usual. I'm going to clear the selection because I don't want anything in there that I uh, that I have cho chosen before just so nothing gets changed that, you know, against my wishes. If there was energy hatches on the bottom or whatever. In this, uh, in this scenario, I'm going to edit replace wireless. I'm going to add block. HSSG coil block, edit replace wireless again, add block to Naquita alloy coil, edit replace, add block to awaken draconium. Now you can see in the bottom left, all three of these coil blocks have been chosen. So you can either do multiple different blocks at once or just one, depending on your preference. From here, I'll set a block to replace with, I'll hit the infinity coil block, and then we'll come over here, shift click on the bottom over here, and we'll fly up top. And as you can see in the region, you can see that the infinity coils are shining through in the preview. So just in a few short seconds, you'll just shift click in the air and there you go. Infinity coil blocks will have replaced the entire selection in your, uh, in front of your, in front of your eyes. This is a really, really, really good tool so that you can quickly swap out coils and mega ABSs, EBFs, DDPFs, as well as swap energy hatches for setups in the late game. Finally, let's talk about the most useful function that the matter manipulator has to offer, copying. Using this feature, you can carbon copy setups and builds with all the settings, configs, and even rotation of, of hatches exactly. From the radio menu, we'll hit set mode, we'll go to copying, and in copying, you'll see it's actually bigger than any of the other sub menus we've seen so far. Like moving, it has uh, an ability to copy and paste. Well, in this instance, it has mark copy instead of mark cut because you're actually adding an additional machine instead of just moving it. So from here, I'm gonna hit mark copy. I'm gonna select my region, as I've showed you many times in this video. I've, I've selected the region of the uh, of the uh, LCR. I'm gonna mark paste. I'm gonna put it right next door. Now, with copying, you actually have the functionality to move the LCR specifically where you want it. So I can hit edit transform, it'll bring up a GUI. This will allow me to rotate it on different accesses, uh, whichever way you want. I can flip it, you know, uh, up and down, left and right, and I can go and copy and I can select a different, re the region of the copy, I can add the variables specifically to the exact coordinates I want. So in this, I want to, uh, you know, I want to paste, maybe I want to move it uh, three blocks over in between. So I, I can just hit Z plus one. I can hit Z plus one, you know, Z minus one, sorry, to move it back twice. So there's only one in uh, one in between. Now, copy A is the original point you selected. Copy B is the second point you selected. So if you hit copy uh, X minus one here, it'll actually push the put it push it back one. If you put X plus one here, it'll push it back, uh, push it towards you. So this is how you can pixel perfect select where you want the multi blocks to go. Now, an additional feature with copying is actually called edit stack. Edit stack allows you to copy multiple, you know, multi blocks at once. If you want to do seven LCRs at one time, instead of just one, you can do it all at once with this tool. So if you edit stack and hit mark, it actually bring this up and I'm dragging it this way so I can see it added a bunch in line. However, they're compacted together. That's because your region is only selected this multi block. So again, we go into edit transform and I'm actually going to want to bring up an additional, you know, I'm going to bring the copy region out one. That way there's a space in between here. Now, if I additionally, if I go and edit transform and I add an additional layer to the back end, so now there's a space in between, I can edit transform again, go to stacking and I can actually add a plus one, meaning it'll stack the LCRs on top of each other and I can add it again. And now there's a one block in between. So this is how you can add multiple you know, machines, multiple setups at one go, you can copy them multiple times over if you want to do this MCRs, LCRs, EBFs, uh, and, and not have to worry about, you know, copying, pasting every single time. From here, you're actually going to go to the, probably the coolest functionality, I think, of the matter manipulator and very, you know, big shout out to Workers of Pineapple for one, not only coming up with this, but also helping me kind of break this down so you guys would better understand it. We'll talk about planning. So, Planning is a way to take a scan of something that you you don't want to paste, and the multi the matter manipulator sorry will actually go through the scan, check what items it needs, and then you can pick whether they want to only plan the things that are missing or every item. Then the uplink multi block, which you would have built and I showed you earlier, can make a fake ME pattern with all those items in it. So you can craft everything in one crafting job super easily. You know, the fake ME pattern, it's exactly like a real pattern, except that the ump leak just pushes the items back to the ME system once a pattern is crafted. And it, what it does is just really makes copying regions uh, very, very easy because you don't have to manually craft the items. It'll, it'll tell, you know, do it for you. So manual plans have to be started, 
by you. You have to you'll click plan missing manual, and then you have to go into your ME system and actually type in your name and then manipulate a plan with the coordinates, whatever, and you can actually request it and it'll do it for you. However, if you hit auto plan in here, plan missing auto, it'll tell you you're I'm you know I'm in this case I'm missing large 12 ME uh sorry large chemical reactors. It'll submit the job to AE and then it'll actually finish. So all the things would have crafted in the A system. And I can uh, I can check this again by hitting plan, plan missing auto. It says I'm uh, no not creating pattern because all required items are present, which means all the items that you need to copy this region are now in your ME system because the planning mode did it for you. So you can do two ways. You can either plan the missing or you can plan all. If you plan all, it'll just do all of it for you. So I can hit all again. Um, and it'll finish the job automatically because I have all the items. And then next, all I have to do is just shift click in the air. And there you go. It'll actually form every single thing with all of the with all of the blocks in its correct position, the block in between. And I would have just copied this one LCR 12 different times stacking it in, in one place. So copying functionality is really, really good. Sorry for the rambling on. But planning is just something you have to get used to. You just have to play around with it when you kind of use the copying and, and pasting functionality. But trust me when I say it is really, really helpful. I did it to, you know, copy uh, compact MK5s multiple times over in my base. And I've done it to copy mega EBFs as well as some other multi-blocks just laying around here and there that I wanted multiple of. So it's really, really good. And you'll just have to get used to it much like you will with any other feature in the matter manipulator. But let me tell you that this tool is absolutely amazing. Big shout out to Recursive Pineapple for coming up with it, for putting the work in to make this, you know, really work in GTNH. And I can't wait for all of you guys to use it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.